Hey YouTube, this is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You're watching Amatu Ray Killer HD, the ultimate Super Saiyan. Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Amatu Ray Killer, bringing you a video on Dragon Ball Idol. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new hero incoming with our boy, Quitella, aka Little Mousy Mouse, 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 Mouse. A lot of people have been asking me, I don't know which team to use with this mouse to make it possible to get the 2,000 gems afterwards, all right? 2,000 gems you get after the last stage is unlocked, and then all you have to do is beat the stages, and then you collect it. That is why I'm here. I tested out different things, and I ended up finding the perfect team to have you guys easily acquire the 2,000 gems that are needed for this nice little event. So basically... I'm going to show you guys this. We did try AoE, and this is the beauty about it, all right? First of all, let's do this and this. We want to make... All right, this is the perfect setup. So we have Gogeta here, an example, okay? So what we want to do is actually put Margarita in first, have Evo second, and then Mouse, okay? And then Evil Boo and Kefla. This is why, and I'll show you guys an example. You actually want Gogeta to contempt Margarita, and you want Evo to die. We are actually basically considering him to be almost like a death fodder. And the reason being is his five stacks is very important for our Kefla to completely go ham. What we could do is actually put Rat or uh, Mouse, Quitella, whatever his name is, in second and have him die so then vegeta could get more stacks and then those stacks could go to kefla that could work as well this right here i find it to work a little best as you could see everyone is practically dying uh for example ultra instinct is away that's why you kind of want to have more aoe units so if i'm not mistaken evil boost should attack uh beerus but because of this event Sometimes it could attack uh, Gogeta, depending on how that's set up. But look at that. Already Gogeta is dead. Beerus is basically dead. We, we're we going to win this, no problem about it. Just because whenever it is time for Kefla to do her skill, Evil Boo will already be attacking Beerus to get rid of his Ultra Instinct. And then Kefla is going to come in and demolish. So, right there. And then, boom. All right, that's an easy win. So let's skip that. Let's go to Silent Terms. Now, mind you, some of these fights are a little bit tricky because if they have Vegito on the team, you need to alter your team around a little bit. So for this case right here, what I could do is put Vegeta in first, but I want to try this out. And then also, since there's no Gogetas, we're going to do this so then we can get more heals to keep Kefla at 100%. And perfect. Let's go ahead and do this. We also want to have Vegeta in fourth to go fourth so then he can at least hit some of his skills to take out either Belmont or maybe bring him down and whatnot. So it's okay for Quitella to die. That That's one thing. He has three revives. So do not be like, do not be worried about him dying and whatnot because it is okay for him to die. That's how we get our Vegeta to be stronger. And then if Vegeta dies, gives those stacks to Kefla. So that's something to worry about, uh, something that's not to worry about. I know some people like to be like, hey, I beat you with a five-man team. It was five and oh, meaning like I had five characters alive and you only had zero, blah, blah, blah. Listen, in the end, a win is a win. Even if it's by a hair, win is a win. All right, so let's see. This is going out to be good. I think Broly's going to die first easily. Yeah, this is an easy win just because of uh, Quatella's taking some good hits. Also taking down health, perfectly fine. That is unfortunate, but he should have died, but that's fine. At least he's going to die from Evil Boo if he does get his uh, ability. Kefla's back to full health. Okay, now, okay, perfect, boom. Look at that, oh my god! Who he died at the perfect time. We got 10 stacks and obliterated Broly and Beerus. All right. Kefla is just a absolute monster. That's taken care of. Now we're going up against myself. All right. The problem is going up against myself is that um, it's a pretty good team. That's all I got to say. Now you might be wondering why I'm not going with 
uh, Omega, because another good person would be Omega. Uh, that reason is because I want to have more revive uh, health stacks to keep Kefla's health at 100, just to be immune to um, everything else. So let's do this right here. Let's do that. Okay, so in this formation, this should die, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see if it works out. I'm sure, I'm sure definitely it has to be um, a 95% succession rate. You know, if you're using this team against everyone else, it just depends on who you're going up against. But I think personally that, oof, that wasn't good. Mirus. We got that immunity. Perfect. Boom. Let's go ahead. Plus that nice little heal reduction across the board. I like that. That's fine. Give me stacks. Give me stacks. It's gonna make his Vegeta have stacks. Like I said, my team is my team is one of a kind. So it's definitely. Woo! Alright, we took one out. That's fine. We got this in the bag. Why are you hitting my Evo? Hit other people. Hit like Margarita. Hit Evil Boo. Something. Mirus is just going right for for uh, Vegeta. I just want I just want to have the mouse die, so then Vegeta dies and gets those stacks to. Uh, all right, he's dead. All right, so the next skill move that should happen for Kefla should be a absolute murder town. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Listen, it's a win across the board. All right. I even tried it with Ultimate Gohan. I was very impressed. All right, so for this team, he's got Gogeta. So this is what you want to do. You could do this, or like I said, uh, do this. So we're going to try with this way. Yeah, we're going to try this way. In this situation, we could have Vegeta in second to take the hit. So then Kefla can get more damage. But I kind of want to get the stacks up. Because now Gogeta is going to destroy, or partially destroy. Okay, okay, no, he doesn't destroy him. Yeah, Gogeta's not that strong. But I feel like this is going to be an easy one as well. As long as we can take out Gogeta, we should be fine. I just kind of wanted to see, and I'm actually very impressed. Very impressed on how well Quitella is surviving, even though it is the event. Okay, if only that hit, if that skill destroyed Evo, that would have been perfect. So then we would have got those stacks, and it would have been a lot of damage done. Okay. This is different. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad about this. I'm not mad about this because Gogeta is dead. So that means that now Evil Boo is the last one and he's going to be defending Kefla and she's going to go to town on everyone. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, we, we can't see yet. All right, but we can see it now. Let's see if we could one shot. And we did. All right. This should be a win. Just because Evil Boo is going to be targeting Margarita. And if she dies, there's no more revive heals for his team. So let's see if this is the case. Yeah, no revives. We should, this should be a win. I mean, we lost, but who are we up against? This guy? Yeah, so that means if I was to do this, for example, let's see if we win. But there's a, this is the success rate. I'm telling you, it's like, Yeah, like I said, it's just probably like luck, RNG, and whatnot, but that's an easy win. This is the only thing that is actually different, okay, about this team. And what I say about this is because when you go up against a team that has Vegito and Golden Frieza, things get a little complicated with this team. So with this formation, 
I have this as this should be good. It should be able to win. I did it before, and that's how I won with this team. But if I, I didn't try having Evil Boo in fourth. But let's give this a try. So Mouth should die, meaning getting rid of Focus Fire. Okay, so then that leaves our Vegeta to get the hit taken from Beerus and potentially die. And then Kefla is going to be doing her skill. Um, I think he's going to be doing more crit damage because that's what he does. Can we... Okay, that was supposed to... We'll get the double heal. Okay. I'll take a double heal. All right, that stun didn't help out. With this one, we definitely lost. Yeah. Like I said, against this team right here with Vegitos, if you're coming up across against a team with Vegitos, it is very tricky to go up against. Um, I tried... We could try this. I mean, I've tried different formations. It's just the Vegito teams, man. Yeah. Now, I want to have her revive a lot. Unless I do this. I'm quite curious to see what happens. I think this way I might be able to win just because Evil Boo is going to be staying alive longer and then he's just going to be racking up points from the stacks of of uh, Quetella dying and then he's just going to be doing skill damage after skill damage. So this I actually haven't tried out yet, so I'm actually very intrigued to see what happens. All right, perfect. So we got more stacks. So that means that now Evil Boo should be targeting... Vegeta because of his stacks. All right, we got the heal. Heal reduction, taunt. Yep, got the kill. So now that means that Vegeta is going to go to town on uh, Evil Boo, hopefully. Boom, nice. Lived with a sliver of the health. All right, perfect. Yeah, I think this is a W now. So this is probably the only way to go up against it. Probably just making sure that Evil Boo survives. Because now if Vegeta dies, those 10 stacks will go yeah, right to her. And then Quitella's here. We got that stun, which was not good. But we're going to get a nice heal right there. We should, if I'm not mistaken... We should be able to lose. Yeah, we lost. That was unfortunate. But okay, that's fine. I mean, against that type of team, it's it's definitely difficult. Um, then we got this right here. Let's do this. This is an easy win. Bam. And then against GM, I also tried Fat Boo. It was very interesting. But um, if we did Evil Boo, same thing. The reason why you want to have uh, Margarita in third is because of Gotenks. Gotenks, go, um, Gotenks, Gogeta. So then Gotenks attacks Margarita. And then Gogeta is going to contempt Margarita. So then Broly will attack Quitella, kill the mouse, hopefully kill... Um, Vegeta. So then those stacks could go to Kefla. And then go from there. Bam. We're going to be taking him out. One by one. He's dead. Kills that one. Good. We got 
extra health on Kefla, so she's immune to any debuff that comes in. We got Focus Fire, which is perfect. Even though Evil Boo is going to die, I'm completely fine with it. All right, perfect. Boom, and that kills Broly, which is the big threat. And then now Evil Boo is going to be killing Gogeta easily with that one. Boom, perfect, easy win. And then the same thing with Lou. Just set up your formation like I did. And then that's how you guys get the 2,000 gems. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Impressive.